let's go back to the a patient that's undergoing chemo radiation. Um, and we talked about how important it is for them to, to get the proper nutrition. A lot of times in that situation, they don't want to eat. They can't eat. They Good don't point. feel like eating. Good point. What, what can be done? Uh, let's situation? look at why should nutrition be included in any cancer patient's uh, comprehensive care. Number one, 40 percent or more of cancer patients actually die of malnutrition. Hmm. And you just mentioned one of the reasons is you know you, chemotherapy. First of all, they're depressed because they got this diagnosis of cancer. Maybe things aren't looking too good. Then they're given chemotherapy, which further removes appetite, causes nausea. Uh, and then uh, oftentimes chemo changes the body's ability to digest and absorb the food. Now you got, if you went from marginal malnutrition, now you got serious malnutrition. Mm -hmm. Um, in my book, Beating Cancer with Nutrition, I talk about, among other things, this Dragon Slayer Shake, and I have found many patients have given me uh, feedback. They said it's very helpful. Basically taking some fruit and vegetable, puree it in a high-speed blender, add a tablespoon or two of uh, whey protein or something like that, um, and then add a half of a frozen banana, and it has the consistency of a milkshake, and yet it's got good nourishment, phytochemicals, some protein, and even when patients are feeling nauseated, tired, depressed, and can't eat a meal, they can still drink this and it will keep their body's nutritional status at an adequate level. So nutrition is vitally important for that. Number two, nutrition is important because it's going to help protect the body against the damaging effects of chemo and radiation. These are non-selective poisons. They kill everything in their pathway. But a well-nourished patient will find that those um, cytotox cytotoxic uh, therapies are going to be more toxic to the cancer and not to the healthy tissue. Uh, we also find that the immune system is built from and repaired by nutrients in the diet. And that's another important reason for nutrition. We also find sugar. We mentioned cancer is an obligate glucose metabolizer. Not just the amount of sugar you eat, but nutrients that help you metabolize it and lower your blood glucose levels. Uh, herbs like cinnamon, nutrients like fish oil, magnesium, uh, chromium, these are all part of the body's regulation of blood glucose. And then the fifth thing is that nutrients become biological response modifiers. Studies have shown that um, fish oil, selenium, uh, a whole assortment of phytochemicals literally become magic medicines in the body. And the only reason you don't hear about it more often is because there's no champion of those. We have a 2.4 trillion dollar a year medical industrial complex of which 280 billion is the pharmaceutical industry and some of it's useful but none of them are going to champion these things like fish oil or elagic acid because you can't get a patent on a natural substance therefore your doctor doesn't know about it and it's not widely used in cancer hospitals.